Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Fola Shade or Green Day. President Mohamed Obar will not succumb to threat and undue pressure being mounted by advocates of restructuring of the country. Presidential spokesperson Gawa Sherwood disclosed this in a statement on Sunday night, saying such calls are unwarranted and unpatriotic. This has been renewed agi agitations for restructuring of Nigeria's political and economic setup in the days leading to 60th independence anniversary and after. However, Sherwood said the president would not be pressured to act describing the calls as reoccurring threats to the corporate existence of the country. Troops of Operation Thunderstrike have killed two bandits along Abuja Kaduna Expressway and have recovered weapons from them, according to the coordinator of the Defense Media Operations, Major General John Eneche. Troops recorded tremendous successes against armed bandits on October 4. Eneche said the operation is in continuation of aggressive clearance operations to stamp out banditry and other sundry crimes in the country. And in commemoration of World Teachers Day, Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki has hailed teachers in the state for their resilience and commitment to human development. In a statement released on Monday, the governor said the good works of the teachers ex exemplified in their seamless adoption of a technology-driven pedagogy now operational in over 840 schools in the state. Obaseki assures that his administration will continue to prioritize teachers' welfare professional growth and a favorable work-life balance to drive productivity. And in foreign news, U.S. President Donald Trump sparked an angry backlash from the medical community on Sunday with a protocol-breaking visit to his supporters outside the hospital where he's been treated for deadly COVID-19. Trump wore a mask waved from inside his bulletproof vehicle during the short trip outside Walter Reed Military Medical Center. Near Washington, experts complained that the Alton broke government's public health guidelines requiring patients to isolate while they are in treatment. There are also concerns the U.S. president may have endangered Secret Service staff inside a car. All foreign vessels operating in Nigerian waters without a valid license risk being banned. In a statement released by the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA, the agency gave all shipping companies operating in Nigerian waters without a license three months to comply with the new regulations. According to NIMASA, the new law would also apply to companies with expired licenses. And more than news, four men are due to go on trial in Britain in connection with the deaths of 39 Vietnamese migrants whose bodies were found in a lorry in southeast England. The discovery of 31 men and 8 women inside a container truck on an industrial estate east of London last year threw fresh light on the plight of migrants desperate to reach Britain. A post-mortem examination found the victims died from lack of oxygen and overeating in the refrigerated lorry. The four men on trial at the Old Bailey Court in central London faced a range of charges from manslaughter to conspiracy to commit unlawful immigration. And in sports, Super Eagles midfielder Ogene Koro Tabo has withdrawn from the friendly match games against Algeria and Tunisia after sustaining an injury. Tabo's withdrawal was announced by the Nigeria Football Federation, NFF. The Super Eagles are built to play Algeria and Tunisia in Austria on the 9th and 13th of October, respectively. Tabo comes the third Eagles player to pull out the friendlies after Wilfred Ndidi who was also injured, and Victor Osemen, who was excused from the team due to COVID-19 restrictions in Nepal, also pulled out. And that's the latest from the newsroom. Do join us again on the next hour for more. I am Fola Shadi, or Green Day. Thank you for watching.